nerdy. It wasn't really even like contractions. It felt more like like cramp. Like, like but like it was like really long cramping. Yeah. And yeah, and then I think within like half an hour, like contractions started to be pretty strong. Mom came down and was saying Windsor, which is just like just outside of the city, about 30 minutes. And she was the plan was that she was gonna be able to come here and watch August when all this was happening so that way possible together. Yeah, so I texted my mom right after my water broke and let her know. And then she drove over to Windsor. So she gets here around 2.30, 2, 2 2.30. And we're standing right by the door at this point, and we're like, do we need to go? Do you think we should wait, like, a, one more contraction to understand whether we should go or not? Or like, no, no, let's go, let's do this. And luckily the hospital is just, like, right down the street around the corner. I think we need to lock the door for an office. Yeah. Why don't you go outside looking for us? It's literally like a five minute walk. So we left for the hospital. We left at 310 for the hospital. By the time there. we were checked in and headed to the room, it was like 320. <laughs> Yeah. And then th at that point, like, I run in, the car's, like, still running outside, and left the doors open. She's in a wheelchair. We're wheeling her in, talking to the nurse. It's 3 in the morning. We get to the room, and the girl says, like, we're going to check you out. She's, at this point, too far along to get any type of drug, get any type of morphine or any type of... Uh, epidural. No, I was already at 10 centimeters. There wasn't even time for laughing gas. It was nothing. It was, it was go time. <laughs> I probably looked terrified. He looked terrified. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? And then River was born at 354. So from 320, getting checked into the hospital, at 354, it was like 30 minutes later, 354. How fast everything happened. And he was 9 pounds, 5 ounces. Big boy, another big head. His head was actually smaller than August, slightly. Yeah. We love the name. We've always loved the name River for a boy. Yeah, it was on the list. It was. It probably would have ended up being August's name if she had been a boy. And I, we also love the idea that, like with August, we named her because we love the name August. But we also named her because like we got married in August. So with this one, with River. It kind of plays a little bit into this idea where, like, we got married, like, on the Ottawa River, like, we, because her parents' house were, was, like, right by the river, so it kind of, like, fits in, like, that same style, too. And then Thomas is after my uncle, so my, my dad's brother, um, he's also my godfather. So. Thomas. <laughs> kind of call him Thomas. I don't think he's ever been called Thomas. Uncle Thomas. Because <laughs> my body was just like, he wanted him out or he wanted him out. Oh, yeah, because you were saying, I have a lot of, I feel a lot of pressure. I feel a lot of pressure, pressure, pressure. And the nurses were like, yeah, I just tried to relax. And, I was just there, and then all of a sudden, Don turns around and says like, no, I need to push. <laughs> I feel like I need to push. And they're like, oh my God. So all the nurses are looking at each other like, oh, she means I the even, baby's coming. I didn't. I don't even think I had a choice. Like my body was like involuntarily pushing this baby out. Wow. <laughs> it was just funny how they're like, just relax, breathe. And I was like, I don't like. There's no time to focus on breathing. Like you're in so much pain. Yeah. And all I remember, you, you kept saying, "Matt, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this, Matt. Matt, I can't. did you try doing that thing that TikTok, the TikTok that we saw?" I also didn't realize, no. You didn't cough? <laughs> no, I couldn't focus on how I was breathing at all. Like, I also didn't realize he was only, he was going to come out in like two or three pushes. August was like an entire day event. Yeah. And, I, and I pushed for three hours. That's so. the thing, because like with her, they it was 24 hours almost. Yeah. And with him, they always say it was like, you know, about half the time. 
So we figured out, you know, 10, 12 hours, it's going to be half a day. So when we were calculating the contractions, we were like, the math doesn't add up. Like, it doesn't make sense that it's this fast. Like, it, it looks like when we started calculating to like an hour later, it looked like it would, we were like ramping up to have the baby like really soon. And we're like, uh, that's why we we're like, we should probably go. Yeah. Because it sounds like it's... Which, thank God, because... Oh, we would have had the baby like... Did, did you explain that the midwife didn't make it to the hospital? She got yeah. there six minutes after he was born, the OP had to deliver again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not getting a puppy. Press two. Where's two? Up here, up here. No, no. no. Good job, August. Oh, it's so nice of you to bring him a teddy. He's cute, huh? Look at his little face. <laughs> hey, summer. It's summer. Now I'm going to wear August dress. <laughs> Do you think he's cute? August misses us, so I'm excited to be home. That's his, yeah. That's his pacifier. Yeah. You know, he, sometimes, sometimes he doesn't want it. He puts it in a crib. No, a crib. And then in a crib. You want to put him in a crib? Yeah. Okay, let's put him in a crib. our first story and it's hopefully we have more time to make more vlogs because lately we have had zero time to do anything. August you want to say hi? Go. Good. Yeah, give me a hug. Daddy big hug. Yeah. Yes. A little Captain Jack Sparrow. August. August Sparrow. <laughs> oh my <baby>. Yeah. <laughs> Our matey, where's my rum? Hey, give me my rum. <laughs> <laughs>